Hi everybody, it's Lee from Gnome and Backyard, and yes, I am in the kitchen today. I wanted to show you this fun Easter treat that we have made for years. I don't even know where this idea had come from. Um, when Gabby was younger, we would always host different parties for different seasons, and someone brought this to one of the parties, uh, one of the Easter parties one year. And guys, I make it every year for us because we love our veggies at Noman Backyard. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking an orange pepper, and I'm just cut it in half, and then I'm just cleaning it out. And then you could see where the natural ridges are from your pepper. So I am just going to take and slice through those natural ridges. I'm telling you guys, you're going to love this. If you want to put out like a little um, salad tray before your Easter dinner with celery and radishes and all the good good uh, bunny fixins, we always love to do that. And this will really look spectacular. Everyone will really get a kick out of this treat this year. So then just continue to slice as many sections as you would like. If you want them to be a little bit bigger, you can have fewer sections. If you'd like them to be a little bit smaller and thinner, you can have more sections. So now we just wanna take and clean up our peppers. We're gonna get rid of all of those seeds. We're gonna come back and we're gonna clean up a little bit of that lighter colored skin that is on the inside of the pepper. Now that is definitely edible. You can eat that, but for aesthetics, um, for wanting this to look really cute and fun for our Easter table, we are just going to clean it up a little. And then we're taking our knife, and at the very top, we are just cutting a half circle into the top of it. We'll clean this one up too. And now the fun thing with this little Easter treat is that you can stuff it with whatever you would like. And I'm going to show you my two favorites right here today. So the first thing that I'm going to stuff mine with is creamy spinach dip. I absolutely love the Tostitos creamy spinach dip, and that's what I want to use today. However, Grandma Jean loves the queso dip, so we will make a few with the queso dip for Grandma Jean. Now, you can use any type of onion dip that you'd like. You can make a cream cheese dip. Whatever you like, that's what you're going to fill yours with. So now I am just spooning my spinach dip right into the center of my peppers. And of course, I am overfilling them a little bit because I'm telling you, I love this spinach dip. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to take something green. And we had dill in our refrigerator today, so I am using dill. You can use parsley if you'd like, anything that has a green leafy texture to it. I think you may have guessed what these are going to turn out to be since we did say they're going to be for our Easter table. So I am just taking and sliding my dill stalks right into the center of my dip. Oh my goodness, you guys, how absolutely sweet are these? These are so cute. And guys, they are not only sweet, they are delicious too. I absolutely love them. And what a healthy, fun treat. Thank you so much for continuing to sprinkle all of Gnome and Backyard's videos. And I do hope you get the chance to take and food craft these up for your Easter table.